Uh, welcome to uh, this online uh, nephrology lecture uh, about chronic kidney disease of uncertain etiology, which is abbreviated by CKDU. Let's start by the definition of uh, CKDU. Uh, CKD of uncertain etiology uh, is defined as uh, loss of kidney function progressively over a long period of time as any chronic kidney disease but in absence of known risk factors of chronic kidney disease especially diabetes and hypertension for example and it is characterized by the presence of tubular proteinuria low grade proteinuria and the hypertension and the edema in these cases are always late features so it is a chronic kidney disease in absence of any of the well-known risk factors of chronic kidney disease with low grade proteinuria and with hypertension and edema as late features and presentations <clears throat> actually at first ckdu was described in uh, rural areas and agricultural areas where the farmers are always exposed to high uh, heat uh, a high heat exposure and uh, other environmental factors may that may uh, be the cause of CKDU as I will explain in the next slides regarding the terminology of CKDU you can find in the literature CKDU described by different uh, names all of them are pointing for the CKDU of unknown etiology or uncertain significance. You may find them in some uh, articles by the name of Meso Mesoamerican Nephropathy, uh, Balkan Endemic Nephropathy, uh, Sri Lankan Agricultural Nephropathy, Chronic Agricultural Nephropathy, and so on. Agricultural Nephropathy. All of these are describing one disease, which is chronic kidney disease of uncertain etiology. Regarding the demographics, clinical features, and the biopsy, this disease is more common in men than women, and this is logic because women, uh, uh, men are working in farms more than women, uh, more common in age between 18 and 60. And as I mentioned, that rise in serum creatinine, these are uh, CKD and rise in serum creatinine without heavy proteinuria, it is typically tubular proteinuria and uh, other supportive features in these cases that you may find history of repeated, repeated episodes of unexplained acute kidney injury in this patient but usually the the main cause of acute kidney injury in these patients as i mentioned is uh, exposure to hot weather hot weather and some other environmental factors that i will mention later uh, you can find pyuria and this is maybe related to the tubular uh, defect hypokalemia related to the tubular defect and hyper uh, hyperuricemia also related to the tubular effect and as i mentioned lack of high blood pressure diagnosis in earlier stages and also lack of edema on biopsy you will find mainly tubular interstitial nephrites uh, more than glomerular affection and this explains uh, uh, the uh, tubular proteinuria and the tubular presentation of this disease um, countries facing this problem a lot of countries all over the world are facing uh, these problems uh, you will find in the Mesoamerican areas and also you can find multiple countries uh, in uh, Africa reported uh, the presence of uh, cases of CKDU I will show you uh, the evidence of the presence of CKDU in Egypt this is one of the studies that had been done in Sharkey uh, government, uh, governorate in Egypt. You can find here about 17% uh, or 18% of the cases are of unknown etiology. This may be attributed to the what is uh, to what is known as CKDU. Uh, also, this is another study uh, that had been done in Almenia. Uh, governorate 
you can find that about 27% of the cases are of unknown etiology and most of the unknown etiology cases were in the rural areas as we mentioned that CKDU is more common in rural areas and agricultural areas. Uh, what are the suspected causative factors and what are the steps that we can do to decrease the prevalence of this disease? The suggested causative factors of CKDU are, as I mentioned, heat stress, and I will talk in depth more about heat stress in the coming slides. Stern sleeper and aggressive work, dehydration, the agrochemicals can explain some cases of CKDU, heavy metals and arsenic. You can find that all of them are environmental factors related mainly to the agricultural areas polluted drinking water, agricultural, uh, agriculture which uses polluted water and soil, and some other also environmental factors like snake bites and so on. Regarding the heat stress and how it may cause uh, CKD, CKDU, as we all know that the exposure to heat stress will cause hypovolemia and hyperosmolarity. Hyperosmolarity in uh, a way can cause tubular dysfunction by uh, the disarrangement of the fructose pathway in the proximal tubules. Uh, proximal tubule dysfunction will cause hyperuricemia, also inflammation and increase in the level of reactive oxygen species and this may cause chronic kidney disease. Also hypovolemia will activate renin angiotensin aldosterone system Activation of the renin and angiotensin aldosterone system may cause also proximal tubular dysfunction. And as we all know, the bad effect of the activation of the renin and angiotensin aldosterone system that would lead to, at the end, to decrease renal blood flow, acute kidney injury. Also, acute kidney injury can be precipitated in these cases by hypovolemia. Also, acute kidney injury can be precipitated by rhabdomyolysis that can be uh, resulted from heat stress. And the repeated exposure to acute kidney injury in the uh, agricultural and rural areas will cause chronic kidney disease. So these are the suspected causative factors of CKDU. What are the steps that we can do to decrease the prevalence of chronic kidney disease of uncertain significance? First, more research studies must, must be conducted. Second, uh, awareness programs must be conducted also for good practices for agricultural, uh, psychological health, sufficient knowledge of CKDU for the farmers. Also, sufficient attention of uh, world authorities must, uh, take, uh, must take place as policy making and funding for research. Water purification is important. Reduce the use of agrochemicals organic, it's better to use organic fertilizers. Um, also, uh, staying hydrated is one of the most important uh, lines to avoid uh, CKDU. Uh, reducing uh, sterile sleepers and providing uh, sh uh, shelters, okay? Regarding uh, research studies, a lot of research studies uh, are ongoing now uh, all over the world and you can find on the International Society of Nephrology uh, website this survey for building a better understanding of research activity in CKDU you can scan this QR code and fill this survey my home messages CKDU affects young healthy individuals in farming communities without diabetes or hypertension cause of CKDU is mainly unclear, likely multifactorial. The disease often, is often silent early, diagnosis is by exclusion. Prevention includes hydration, toxin avoidance, and safer work conditions. And finally, urgent need for research screening and policy support. Thank you for watching the lecture.